Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today we are into our seed saving series. Each day we're focusing on a different flower and today we are looking at asters. So there are many different types of asters, um, but you're just going to save the seeds pretty much the same way you save a lot of these cut flowers. You're going to wait until there is a head on the plant that's almost completely dead or dried out. Or you can take ones that are kind of on their way out the door, take those off and dry them inside. So you can do that on a piece of newspaper. Um, we do ours in paper bags. Just make sure you're labeling everything that you are um, saving this way that you don't get things confused as everything dries out. So you can even put different varieties or species that you have on there and I know what I'm doing here I only grew certain varieties so yeah we're basically going to take a pair of our pruners and we are going to collect off of those ones and then let those dry in the house for a couple weeks so I've got them off of the plant I'm going to throw them in these bags let them dry out for a couple weeks and we will see you then to save these seeds hey everyone welcome back to Ontario gardening we are doing another day of our seed saving from flowers. Today we are looking at asters. So I'm gonna show you how to collect seeds from asters. This works for pretty much any variety because there's tons of different varieties of asters, but we've let them dry out. The heads dry out in a bag for a couple weeks. We can now pull them out. And at this point, we have the dried heads of our asters and I will show you, taking this down, how to get the seed. So you've got the middle, you've got all your petals on the outside. We don't want any of that, but we do want the inside here, this fluffy stuff. So you just literally pull out of the middle and here are your seeds. So if we just put them down here, each seed has a little bit of that fluffy stuff on the top. So if I come in and just take, they're really tiny, but if I just take one seed here, See how they've got the fluffiness on the top of each seed and then at the bottom it's like that brown cylinder that is your seeds so you don't have to take the fluffy stuff off of the top um, they'll germinate just fine if we just put this right in the bag and save them this way so that's pretty much it so like if i took this bigger aster here same thing we're going to pull from the middle and here are all of your seeds at the bottom so it's got the fluffy stuff at the top and then down at the bottom there is your seed. So quite simple, that's saving aster seeds. So we will see you tomorrow when we save seeds from another flower. Thanks for joining us, bye.